Nata Yaki Felagi, Apache Marie Marie Chupaku. destiny. Thank you, Lord, for the great humility and the great work that you've placed in their lives, your gifts and your talents. And we just thank you, Lord, for this great union today of bringing these two beautiful people together into one. For your glory, Lord, we ask that you seal this time and bless it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, it is a blessing to be here. It's a true honor. Um, I'm going to first open with um, some scripture in Philippians 2. I'm going to read 5 to 11. And the first sentence I particularly want as the challenge of, of my exhortation this morning. I look back now and I see 
and all I see is a beautiful love story written by God himself. There is still a part of me today that cannot believe that I'm the one who gets to marry you. With the grace of God and wisdom from the Holy Spirit, I would do all that I can to be a good friend and wife. I would do all that I can to be a blessing to you every waking day. You are the love of my life, and I couldn't imagine stepping into the next chapter of my life with anyone besides you. Although life will throw many curveballs and situations that no amount of planning can control, I promise to meet all of our battles with prayer. I promise to go to God before anybody else when you make me wonder. With the hand of God on our lives, I pray that the love we have for each other will be a blessing to everyone we come across. As the Holy Spirit works in my heart and makes me more like Christ, I promise to always be honest with you, kind, patient, and forgiving. I promise to be faithful and supportive and to always make our families, love and happiness my priority. I promise to always say I'm sorry when I am wrong and when I'm not wrong. I promise to serve you and to always be on your team. I promise to show our children an example of Christ's love for the church by how I love and serve you. I promise to always be proud to call you my wife and to listen to you. I promise to encourage your servant heart because that is what makes you unique and wonderful. I promise not to spend all our money on Zara. And, and I promise not to steal the covers when we sleep. I know that I might not always be perfect. I know that I will make many mistakes. But through it all, I promise that my love for you will not be based on only the emotion that I feel inside, but fully on the word of God and as my duty as a husband. Because you have pledged mutual love and trust to one another, I now declare, according to the ordinances of God and the laws of the state, I pronounce you to be husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Which is yours in no Christ place Jesus. I would rather that though be you were here in God, your love, did not count quality with God, no place I would rather but he emptied himself, taking no the form of a servant, be. being born in the likeness of no men, place I and being found in human be. form, he humbled himself love, by becoming obedient to the points of death. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control. I want more of you, God.
tell me about this strange boy who would show up in her inboxes on Facebook with these weird messages saying hi or I need help with math or whatever the case may be. But this person would never ask for a date or anything of the sort. So at the time, that person wasn't serious. But one faithful day, I forced Perry to ask Maria on a date, even though he says he was about to do that. And from there on, literally, um, Perry would do so many different things that literally confirmed that he was the one for her. And I, I can't even begin to say the different types of acts that he would do to show how much he cherished and valued her. That literally made my heart swell. And so, Perry, thank you. <laughs> I wasn't gonna cry. Um, <laughs> thank you for showing her how much you care and for truly valuing her.